Hey, what's up, guys? Arab here, and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2019 Manager Career Mode here with Red Bull for round number five of the South African GP for this season. If you guys did miss the previous one, then be sure to go check the one out before you see this one. A very mixed bag, a tale of two halves for our two drivers in terms of Verline doing very, very well, and Verstappen uh, unfortunate there. And you can see in the standings on the right-hand side how much the deficit is from Verstappen to Verline, which is very surprising because also last episode I gave Verstappen the better car, very much so. Um, so no matter what I do, it seems like Verline is just fighting back and being a great guy, uh, a great driver. So I can't really say much else on the matter. Uh, in terms of pit crew, I think we're still fine on everything, to be honest. I'm just going to reject everyone. Could get this guy. He seems like a quite good all-rounder. Um, if there's... Uh, what's the best thing he's got? Is jack and fixing. So maybe there's someone who is a bit less on the jack. Like this guy is 17 and 18 on the rear jack. Good on refueling, though. Is there someone... That I've de uh, this guy, I can maybe replace him. Yeah, definitely. It looks like we could replace him. Yeah, let's sign him and confirm. So we'll swap out one guy there. A little bit of a tiny change. But in terms of emails then, interview with the BBC. Uh, Verstappen fuming in the post-race interview after running out of fuel in the last lap. He didn't drop positions though. So I'm going to say that was my mistake. But there is no point because he didn't lose a position. He finished where he was always going to and he didn't run out of fuel at the end. So that's a bit weird. He ran out. Of, he might have run out of fuel on one of the stints, but he still made it back to the pit lane. So and, and made the pit stop. So I don't know what he's complaining about. So that's a bit of a weird. Sometimes the emails are a bit bodged and a bit broken. It's fine. So we'll move forward then. Uh, we're building obviously a gearbox, which will get done in eight days' time. HQ is now what, fourteen weeks away. So we continue on, and probably I think that will the engine get made. Yeah, the the gearbox will be made just before South Africa, literally the day before. So that probably won't be used in the race. Most likely. Let me quickly check on these uh, on these parts here, by the way, uh, what we're doing here. So we're improving. Reliability is going up. And the... Yeah, we're improving what I want to improve, really. So we'll just move on then, really, to the gearbox being made. I'll uh, bring that in. Um, so that is the very weird red zone part. We can't even use that yet because we're... We've not got the reliability on it for that amount of red zone. And also the performance isn't even that high right now. So I'll leave that for now. I'm going to create another gearbox. This time, though, I can go for an epic because that's our maximum part. But look at that. Ah, again, all these parts are risky, man. It's really frustrating. I can't basically... I literally can't use any of these because they're risky. I don't want to take the risk. So let's try something else then. Suspension. We haven't made anything of like that. Let's go 25 plus to max three days after the Grand Prix. That'll be quite cheap. That's a bit frustrating. So Gearbox is a bit of a dead end then for us, really, to be honest. Let's move on then to traveling to Cape Town. So Alpine race stars, tire selection, medium tire wear. So I'll take in six sets of ultras, six sets of super softs, and I'll take in two... Um, oh, actually, you know what? Let's take in one set of softs and seven of each of those because we're not going to use the soft tires, are we, at all? Uh, fit parts, I'm going to give every single part to Verstappen. I'm sorry, Verline, but... I really want Verstappen to do well. I know you're the one in the championship lead, but you're doing a good enough job anyway with an unequal car. So, and you're content with it anyway. So, you're all good. You signed a number two contract, so you're all fine, to be honest. I think we had this, not, we haven't, I, I didn't even swap a part here. So, literally, last episode, Verstappen did have the better car in every department and still didn't get first place, and, Verst and Verline did. Obviously, Verline started on pole and Verstappen was back, but still. Uh, it's just it's just a bit weird and unfortunate. Verstappen just hasn't been pulling through the consistent performance like he has been last season. We'll move through then. Practice, apparently heavy rain and race clear. So, don't know. Maybe the rain bleeds out to the race, but let's just see how practice goes first of all. Okay, got a setup save from the Renault career. So, I don't know how good this setup's going to be. You're going to send them out on ultras. Um, tire wear is high here at uh, South, uh, South Africa, but not as high as Portugal. So, I think we should be fine on the ultras to be honest. So, We'll just get going on that. Um, I'll check the setups first because... Actually, you know what? I won't check the setups. There's uh, rain coming. So I'll just try and get some knowledge in on these ultras before we check this setup. Whilst it's raining, basically. And then we'll do some more running at the end on the tyres. Because it looks like it's getting dry out just at the end as well. So maybe a bit of a pointless session for a lot of us in terms of knowledge gained. If it doesn't end up raining in the race tomorrow. So I, can, I think I can le get level 2 just about before it really starts chucking it down. And then I'll get level 3 right at the end, I think, hopefully. So the rain's coming down now. And I will tick over to level 2. It's slowing down. There we go. Right, bring them both in. I think Verstappen is just in time. Can he come in just in time? Yes, he can. Both drivers. Good timing. 
Right, setup. Ooh, banging setup. Absolute banging setup. Right, eight laps, inters. 97%, you're good. Uh, Verline, a little bit of tweak needed on the handling front. But apart from that, you're also pretty decent. 93%. Bring the downforce down a little bit more because uh, we were... Uh, well, that's all we can really do, really. And handling-wise, um, a little bit harder suspension then. Let's try that out for size. Speed balance was good, though, so we'll bring that back. Uh, I'll do a short little stint on Inters, and I'll bring Verline back in to check that setup. Whereas Verstappen can, can just stay out and do uh, the intermediate running in the race stream. But Verline come back in, got some lightning there, and some floodlights now turning on. I always like, I always love the tracks when it's raining here on this game, because they all have like floodlights, so the track looks really cool when it's lit up and raining. Uh, right, Verline's in. Right, two excellence and poor. Interesting. Right, so what's that going to be? 87%. I'll use that setup, but I'll go back to what we were on the handling here. That was good, so maybe that's going to be something we need. Like, really, really soft suspension there. And then we'll bring this back into play like so. And that could be the one, maybe. You know, that's quite far out on oversteer, but let's see. Four laps, inters, go. Right, both guys coming in. They've got level three on the intermediate, so looking good there. Handling-wise, only on good on Verline there. So he's going to be on 94%. So still some tweaking to do. So probably somewhere in the middle then is going to be the excellent, I would say, between those two. So I think that might be it. Let's just tweak this, get this back there. Um, so let's go four, let's go eight laps and I'll go on to dry tires. Even though it's not dry right now, uh, it's a bit wet out there. May as well, because uh, we've got the inter knowledge. So what's the point? And I'll just let Verstappen wait a little bit. Okay, it's pretty, pretty low dampness now. So I'll go eight laps. And ultras again, send out. There we go. Right. Should get level 3. Should. And there we go. With about 4 minutes to spare, we got level 3. So we got all the knowledge we need. Uh, I'm not going to bother on any other tyres, really. But we got Inters as well. So if it does rain in the race, we're covered again. Just like Portugal. But it didn't rain in Portugal. So I don't think it'll be raining here for some reason as well, either. So I think we should have fine. Max Chilton span and Magnussen span. A lot of spinning going on at the moment. Very weird. Right, we go to the race. And oh, ooh, looks like it is raining. It is raining. Okay, this just got interesting. With the forecast center, we can see that it's going to dry out eventually. It looks like there might be a faint bit of rain, though. Let me see. I'm, let me move my mic and really look in. I think there might be a little bit of rain later on, though, in the race. There might be a spurt of dry period and then more rain. So, honestly, might have taken that into knowledge, I think. I think the into knowledge is the way to go, actually. So, for once, come out quite lucky there with that, that intermediate knowledge and practice. And that's been the way to go. Grid-wise, Verline's first place again. What?! And Verstappen's 18th again. Isn't that the same position as last time? Okay. I'm recording this ahead of time, by the way. Uh, these episode, these last three episodes have all been recorded on the same evening, by the way. Just so you know, FYI, because I'm taking a little trip at the moment this week. So I'm abroad, so that's why I'm having to pre-record them. So I'm going to assume that in the comments that people are kind of being like, you know, still banging on about the whole fact of I've been favouring Verline or Verline somehow is always doing better, or the new driver always does better compared to Verstappen being the older driver in the team. This is just crazy. The game itself is, like, leaning towards Verline. First place of Verline, again. That's really odd. Really, really strange. Right, car set up then. Fuel. This will be interesting, because we need to go to lap 20... We need to go to lap third, like, 28 for the dry period. The fuel will only go to lap... Ooh, fuel tank's actually quite large. 31 laps. Okay, that's actually quite doable then. We can go to the dry periods. That's fine then. Attack. Overtake mode, overtake mode. So we need to get to the we need to get to lap 28-ish, I think. Probably. Yeah, lap 28-ish. Or lap uh, it's more like 30. It's maybe more like 35 to be fair. Uh, might be a little bit iffy. Let's see. Let's go. Start race and let's just get into it. Here we though go then. So five red lights. Verstappen P18. Verline P1 again from pole position. Fire lights are out. On the way, and it's a good getaway for Verline there. But the Merc is already part. What the? Our shot passes there in a flash. 1.1 the gap. He literally was like lightning off there into turn one. Verstappen's already into P13. Remember, Verstappen's got a perk of being better in the wet. So this might be his time to shine versus Verline. But Verline's still P2. But our very surprised how he's done. Verstappen, though, already up into P7. Now, though, he's moved down to P12. That's worrying. What on earth happened there? Let's use ERS and get back, please. Come on. P6, P5, P4. That's much better. Right, let's use ERS for you, Verline. Try and push on, try and catch up to our if we can. And Verstappen's up into P3. And Verline has uh, just overtaken our, and he's up into P1. I guess our used his ERS straight away, maybe, as well, on that opening second lap. Whereas Verline did not. Now we're looking good. We've got auto and auto. 
Need to go on medium and medium fuel now. And really stretch... Oh, you know what? Even, even so, low fuel. Let's stretch this fuel massively. Right, so lap 8. Fuel-wise, we've got 22 laps of fuel left. So we could go to lap 30 with this amount of fuel. So that's pretty good. That's exactly when the water is going to start to come down, I think. I reckon. I can't fully tell. But you can see I was correct. There is rain later on. So good shot. A good thing we chose intermediate periods. Sun's out, though. Track's drying up. We'll just see how this goes, basically, from here. Uh, keep an eye on our because he might close up on Verline, because we're saving fuel, and he might not. And with Verstappen, just keep an eye as DaCosta has crashed very weirdly. But that's good for us, then. Very good news. The Ferrari's crashed off there. So very, very good stuff for us. Um, so I was going to say, and oh, what the, Leclerc's gone off at the same point as well, mad. Everyone's going off at that corner. All right, take it easy, lads. Uh, Verstappen's got a big gap to Rossi, though. So let's hope that he, Rossi doesn't catch up to Verstappen too much whilst we're saving this fuel and stretching this. Because I don't think they'll try and stretch it. So I think this is how we get into a 1-2 situation. And if it is 1-2, I'm going to say it now. If it is 1-2 and Verstappen second, I'm definitely switching them. Because he deserves a win by now, to be fair. Just after all the bad luck he's had. Right now, Al is pushing hard, I think. Yeah, he's pushing his tyres. So I think we can afford to kind of go with him and push as well. Maintain that low fuel, though. Right, sit rep lap 21, or 22 rather. Verline first place. He's got a bit of a bad form there. And the gap is less than a second now. Two hour. We've not been pushing the tyres though, so now I'm pushing them for the first time. We're still on low fuel though. This entire time being low fuel with both drivers. Verstappen's catching up though, because I went... He had l such low tyre temps that I basically went attack mode for like three laps. And he's caught that gap up now. He's only three seconds back from hour. So this is looking good to try and pinch hour maybe for that one too. Rossi's not really come with us. He's, he's maintained that kind of gap we had. I guess he's closed up a little bit. But uh, we're looking good. Despite being low fuel this entire time, we've got some good pace here. So that's very promising. It's just now trying to make sure we get to this dry period in like four laps time, I, get, I think. Right, yeah. End of this lap. It's going to start rapidly drying up. So now I think I might start pushing flat out nearly with Verstappen soon enough. Uh, we've got no pit stops yet. Keep going. Keep going, son. Keep going. Right, Verstappen. Let's push, overtake mode, let's really go for it now. Let's try and get out where we can on this uh, next lap. Right, gaining, gaining, gaining. Rossi's also gaining. Going to pit in for drives, I would say, on this next lap nearly, I think. I think it might be time. We're very worn tyres, though. Rossi's gaining. There we go, around the outside. We've got him. Do we pit in now? I think we do. I think we do. I think we risk it. Right, I need to go to lap 57-ish. So probably 55, 55. So... That's probably, that's how many laps away? 25, 27, 20, we're at 27 now, so that's 23 laps away. I'm going to play it, ooh, do I play it cautious or do I go for it with ultra? Are they going to pit? Our Rossi. Is Rossi going to pit? I don't think they're going to pit yet. And he's on 18% wear, and we're on 20% wear. So I'm going to push both drivers, and I'm going to try and double stack them on the next lap. We're not going to come in just yet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, now we'll come in. Pit in. Ultras. Fuel option. We only need to go 20... Uh, 22 laps, right? 22 laps to lap 50. Oh, no, we're going 55, not 50, are we? Yeah. So we need to go 55 minus 28. 27 laps. So fill up for 30 laps. Give us some excess. Yeah, go on. I mean, I think Verlon will go a little bit less, though, because I need to double, double stack them. So I'll go 28 laps. Tire choice, that should... Ooh, no. Super soft. Not going to risk that. Not going to risk that. Parkinson's, Parkinson's fine. My bad. <clears throat> Parkinson's fine. Fast. Come in. You are going to go soft as well. Super, super soft as well. Fill up fuel. You'll go for 28 laps of fuel. Parkinson's fine. No re I won't risk the recharge as well. Fast pit stop. Right. Here we go, boys. Double stack. Come on. This is definitely going to slow Verstappen down, though. So I might actually have to cancel this. Might go on for even longer. It's a little bit damp still. And the double stack will hold him up more, surely, or less? I think, hold him I think he'll hold him up less if we double stack him now on this lap, to be fair. So, yeah, let's just go for it. Right, come in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, make the pit stop good. Right, Verline's out. Verstappen's out. And we're still in P1 and 3. That's good. We've lost some time to Hamilton and Rossi both. Rossi's behind Hamilton now. We're both out in the same position still. Verlund's gained some time an hour. That's good to see. We can go high fuel. High fuel. And attack mode. Let's go for it. And Verstappen actually. Let's use some ERS. Let's go, go, go. 
Right, Verstappen's closing in on our. I'm going to go conserve now for a little bit and just try and bring these tyres back in. And then I'll go on an ERS soon enough. But for now, our uses ERS. He saved a lot of ERS, it seems. Our just gained, like... Well, yeah, he set the fast half of the Grand Prix. He, he gained like five seconds on us in one lap there with ERS use. So we're going to be patient now with this with Zappen because we don't have ERS, too much ERS with him. And we just keep going, basically. Right, sit rep now, lap 38. The gap is less than half a second now. Hour, I think, is... Yeah, he's pushing on the fuel. Let's push as well. Let's go pushing on the tyres as well. Try and get back. Let's do some ERS for Verline. Try and get away a little bit. Right. I think we're good for now. We're good for now. Is Al still pushing on the fuel? No, he's not. Let's go back to high. I'm going to stay on uh, attacking. Actually, I need to go to... Ooh, how many laps? I need to go 15 laps. Okay, we're still pretty good on the fuel. We're stopping. Just about good on the fuel. Keep going. Keep going, though, mate. Keep going. Right, let's use some ERS once we get past... Ooh, once we get past these lap cars, let's use ERS. Get past them. Okay. Are we in clean air now? Yes, we are. But look at how much... Look how much the traffic is... It's, the traffic is really quite a burden on this, uh, in, these, in these mods. Because the traffic really slows you down. Hamilton is right up our chuff. We're getting away from him now. But he was right up our chuff. We're also the only ones on supers. So that, there's that. Owl's just overtaken Verline. Push back on him, please. Push back on him. Let's go. All right, we're back there. Good. Medium. Neutral. All right, this happens back into P3. Tarware's looking okay. They're going to have to pit again, aren't they? So let's conserve. Let's conserve. They're going to have to pit again, I think. Right, Owl's pushing. He's got to be pitting soon. So let's push it with Verstappen now and try and gain a little bit on Verline, I think. Owl's in. Yeah, Owl's in for the pit stop. Hamilton will come in soon enough, I think. He's on to straight on to Inters, though. Bold call. Bold call. But there's not. it's not damp enough, mate. It's not damp enough. Right, go full out attack for Stafford. Let's close up to Verline. Let's close up to Verline. A little bit water on track. That's fine. Lap 53, still good. Tires overheated, still good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, now we're going to pit. Inters, fuel option. 23 laps left. 26, perfect, really. Park ugh, a little bit iffy there. That's not going to change. Ah, that's not going to change. We may as well change the front wing then. Uh, not going to charge up on ERS. Going to keep where we are. We're stopping. Let's use all the fuel, and we're going to come in as well. Two second gap, though. Actually, no, what? We're not going to come in. We're going to go on for one more lap, mate. One more lap, because I don't want to double stack you this time. So keep going, mate. Keep going. Now you go overtake mode, and we push in for this in lap. We're going to come in now onto Inters. Fuel options fill up. We'll go for 25 laps of fuel. Park condition is fine. Recharge, no. Fast pit stop, yes. And I will use my ERS on this in-lap as well. Really make this a very good in-lap. Right, save that. Go auto with Verline there. Let's go pushing. Let's go high. He's second place still. Eight seconds of the gap to Hamilton. That's good. And we're pushing in. We should be just about perfect on the fuel. Yep, just about. Just about run out of fuel there as we enter the pit lane. That's good. Right, pit stop. Faster pit stop than Verline, I think. And we're into P2. There is Verline just up the road. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attempt to try and swap them if I can. But it's going to have to be very delicately. Very, very delicate. Right, Verstappen's closing up. He's within one second. Water on track's going to remain. Might even go to heavy heavy rain. So full wet tyres soon enough. Uh, in that case, we don't want to burn too much fuel. So I'm going to go medium on that. I'm going to keep pushing the tyres though. Because we can afford to with Verstappen now. And he's up into first place. We've swapped them. He's allowed max pass. That's all good. Thank you very much, mate. Verline's going to go side by side, though, and come back at him a little bit, and he's re-overtaken him. Verstappen comes back, though. I've still got him on allow teammate through, but he races him a little bit more than I wanted to, maybe. But Verline, calm things down, mate. I want Verstappen to win this race now. He deserves one. You've done a great job, mate, but second place will still be good enough for you for the championship. Right. Now, we just push on with both drivers, really. Push on with both drivers. And uh, we'll get to the end of this race. Hopefully on no fuel, fuel uh, no virtual safety cars out. So definitely time to go low fuel for 35 seconds. And then go back to where we were. Go attack and medium. Go attack and medium. Actually, you know what? We can go high. But uh, I don't think we're going to refuel. We'll change tires maybe, but we won't refuel once the heavy rain comes. So looking good. First and second. 
Very, very nice. Verline is being caught a little bit by Hamilton, though. Is he on flat out attack? No, he's not. How's Hamilton done that? Did he use ERS? I'm guessing he used ERS. Also got a bit of traffic as well. Uh, that's interesting. Let's use some ERS. Get away from Hamilton a little bit, mate. Right, storming out. It's time to pit in with both drivers uh, for four wets. Uh, no, no fuel change. We've got 12 laps left. We've got 10 laps left. We've got 12 laps of fuel. That's all good. Fast pit stop. Uh, where is Verstappen in relation to the pit box? He is... Did he just pass it? I think he just did, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to push hard on the ERS with both drivers then. Uh, pit in. Going to have to be a double stack. Hopefully it doesn't hold not too much. We're only changing tyres, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, actually. It's a two-second pit stop. So, Verstappen's in. Auto, auto. Save ERS there. Right, a lot of lightning. Verstappen's going to come in now. Easy pit stop. Calm. Lovely double stack. Easy double stack. Right. Out in first place still. Verline, please send me out in second place. Come on. Yeah, still out in second place. All good. All calm. We've got 11 laps left. Verline's got a lot of fuel to burn. Verstappen has some fuel to burn. Not too much, but some. And now we can push to the end. I think. Pretty sure. We'll go high. We'll go, pu we'll go pushing. Sorry. Eight laps to go. Eight laps to go. Yeah, all good on the fuel. Should be good on the fuel. The stat of Verline, though, is being chased down. And Hamilton's right there. And I'm guessing Hamilton has a wet weather pro tactic. So let's use some ERS. Really go attacking. And we're going to have to try and really push away from him. Yellow flag. Six laps remaining. We should be good on tire wear. So let's push on. Get away from Hamilton. The gap is still there. Still two seconds to Hamilton. Verline, mate, you're going to be a little bit uneasy towards the end of the Grand Prix, I think. If we keep going like this, you need to get away. Yes, he's in traffic. Hamilton's in traffic now. That's good. Right, two laps to go. Going to go for an ERS lap now with uh, Verstappen. I'll go. I'll do the same on the last lap for... Uh, oh, well, on the last lap already with Verline as well. So use all the ERS, all the tyres, and we'll see if this is going to be a good... Well, it won't matter, actually, because the purple lap probably got decided in the dry period. But Verstappen is going to finally come through for first place. His first win the season. Great stuff, mate. Great stuff. GG's. Deserved that after like three, four races of uh, BS. And Verline makes it a 1 2 for Red Bull Porsche. Absolutely great stuff, mate. Respect. We let You let his, your teammate by. He didn't make much of a fuss. Good stuff, mate. Still good P2 ahead of both Mercs. One Ferrari crashed out. Rossi P5. That's a very, very successful Grand Prix for us there today. First 1 2 this season as well. Get in there, son. Get in there. Good stuff, mate. Right, fast after the Grand Prix. Ooh, went to hour in the end, actually. So, fair play. Um, so, gold and silver. Very good. Verline in the lead by 26 points. And Verstappen now is up into P3 ahead of one of the Ferraris of De Costa. So, looking good. And there we go. Finally, Constructors, we're in the lead now by 27 points. That is a big swing. Obviously, with one DNF for Ferrari, that was a major swing of momentum in the championship. Very, very good episode that has been for the team uh, but it was still a tough one. I felt, I felt like I still needed to manage that all day in the Grand Prix because Verline was very much still within range from Hamilton. So that was still a, a well-managed race where it wasn't so totally easy. But 1.7 in the bank, it ends up looking easy because we got that one too. All good there. So guys, if you did enjoy the episode, be sure to smash that button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're on your own, subscribe for weekly Fallout content. I've been Arifa. Hope you enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.